Welcome to another Arduino Projects video. This project is an extension of one that was originally presented by David Ratliff. About two years ago I saw it on YouTube and I was like, oh that's pretty cool. I wonder if I can do that. And also at the same time add some features to it. That's what this is. I would refer to this as something like a dual mode NeoPixel ring compass. It has a NeoPixel ring. It has 12 pixels. The one Ratliff used had 16, which in the second version of this, I'm going to the 16. Basic parts is just an Arduino Pro Mini with an LSM303 DLHC accelerometer magnometer breakout board, as well as I have a button to shift between two modes. And I have the supporting voltage regulation circuitry for the Pro Mini as well as the NeoPixel ring. And what this project does is at the moment it's in what I'd refer to as north tracking mode. Basically it answers the question where is north in relation to where I'm facing or where the x-axis on this breakout board is facing. The x-axis is facing this way. So in relation to the x-axis north is that way confirmed by this compass. And in this mode, we should be able to turn it in the red indicator. This is your north indicator. It's bordered by two yellow, or two of these pixels are yellow, and the red is the actual pointer, and then there's just a splash background color. And that red indicator should track fairly well where the red compass needle's pointing, if it's a true north tracker, it should anyway. And there is the range of degrees is not perfect yet, but it's pretty close. The red needles that way, all the red indicator LEDs that way. It's good. We should be able to do a complete 360 rotation and it should track that red compass needle every way it goes. And it does. And that's good. That's in north tracking mode. And that's the sort of starting point, just answering the question, where is north? Well, this will tell us where north is. It'll send the red indicator LED in the same way the compass is pointing. But then there's another mode that to me is actually perhaps even a little more helpful. Like, what is my heading? Or in which, in terms of the cardinal directions, which way am I facing? Or which way is the x-axis? of this accelerometer compass breakout facing. We can push this button and all of a sudden we have a different splash background and we have the indicator pointing north well this would be east northeast and if thinking about where the compass is pointing that's pretty good not too bad. We're facing east north this breakout board is facing east northeast and that would make sense. If north is here, then east-northeast would be around there somewhere. And so if we rotate it, we're getting closer to north. Notice the compass. And this is getting closer to aligning with north. And when the compass, like I said, the degrees need to be a little more refined. But when we align the compass with north, that's aligned with north. That's pretty good. Well, what if we keep going? We would be moving away from north. And there's a lot of range of degrees on this. That's why I want to get a 16 pixel ring. It'll do a better job. It'll granulate it better rather than having to use like a 30 degree swipe. And that's not near as precise. Well, at the moment, it's saying that we're pointing where? Well, north, north, west. That's the way in which the arrow on the x-axis is pointing. If north is that way, then north-northwest would be that way, which is exactly where the ring's pointing. It's telling us which way we're facing. Think of it as you're standing behind it and you're facing this direction. And so we can rotate it around. There we go. That'll work. The precision's not quite as good with this. But that can be worked out with a larger ring and a little more refined code. But in this case, the, our indicator is saying that we're facing west. Well, if north is that way and we're facing 
this way, we would be facing in a westerly direction. No problem. So we can rotate it and align it so that north is facing that way. We're facing this way, so we're facing south. That would be a south direction. There's your north direction. And that's just right. And then we can rotate it on, and it'll go on around. So it's it. now we're back to facing east northeast or we could roll it so that we're facing north remember that's our facing direction right. and it's a neat project it's kind of interesting it's not tilt compensated yet so if you tilt it that's pretty good though it's a pretty stable sensor but you notice it will dance with tilt meaning that it needs to be compensated for that which it can be given that we have an accelerometer as well as a magnetometer on this board that all I'm using in the code at this point is the magnetometer or the compass half of the chip. And that's pretty good. We can go back to the north pointer. It works real good. That's, that's pretty good within the range of degree swipe that I have set, a 30 degree range. And that'll be worked out as more as I get a larger pixel ring. But this is just the first version and it's just a project. It was inspired by Ratliff's work two years ago. I thought other people might be interested in it. That's why I made this video. We can zoom in. It just has voltage regulation circuitry powering the Pro Mini at 5 volts. There's your I2C or I squared C, whichever way you'd rather refer to it. There's your lines communicating with the LSM303 and then we have a pull up resistor going to a button which is debounced as crude as possible inside the software. I did software debouncing, just put a delay, you push the button and it waits for 300 milli 350 milliseconds and then it samples it again and if it's still low at that point then it says oh that's a legitimate signal so it's just some crude software debouncing not even using mills and then we have the data line for the NeoPixel ring and then I just cut out a piece of paper with the, and marked it with the directions. The way that I've aligned this ring is this is actually the third pixel. This is pixel 3 on the ring but given the way I had to put it in a breadboard given the pin configuration on the ring pixel 3 worked out better. So started with pixel 3 and one will see that if they take a look at the code. And then it's just a 12 pi NeoPixel ring. We can remove that. And there's the resistor on the data line as per Adafruit suggestions. And then we have ground power going to the ring as well as a thousand microfarad capacitor to create a buffer so the voltage doesn't sag too bad. Those a NeoPixel ring, NeoPixels of any sort, they take a lot of current. And then there's 5 volt regulation circuitry to manage the ring. It's a neat project. It's kind of interesting and maybe this will inspire somebody else to add more modes. At the moment it's dual mode. North tracking or where am I facing tracking, heading tracking. That's all it does at the moment. There will be a version 2 soon enough and I'm doing my best to get back to all the other projects that I have. This one's been on hold for over a year and a half. So <laughs> my job keeps me away from making videos that I would love to make, many more every day. But this gives people perhaps an interesting project to engage in. If you like this video, please consider clicking like and also consider subscribing to my channel. Until next time.